Welcome everybody to episode 35 of my speed build series. Today we are building another family home. Oh my god, I'm really mixing it up in here. Um, no, but yeah, I'm just building like a small family home. It's really small, like especially like, compared to the one um, next to this. And also looking at the one next to this, the roof looks so weird. Like especially in comparison to this roof, like the roof of this house. I don't know, it's so pointy. But I'm pointing it out in the other video as well. Great pun. Um, like in, in the video about the house with the pointy roof, that it's that it's really pointy. I think I'm pointing it out. Um, yeah. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, for today's house, it's kind of simple. It has two. It has two bedrooms. I like one master bedroom and a toddler's bedroom. I think yeah, a toddler's bedroom. And yeah, a little balcony, a little garden. And it also fills up the last lot in this row of houses. I mean, I could also add like another lot um, on the right, I think. I'm not sure right now of this space actually. And I really need to get into um, decorating the entire town basically, like placing down some trees and stuff because it still looks so empty, like in between the lots, like, not like on the lots, but in between, in between them. And also I did notice while building this house that um, the house to the right is missing two like land posts. Is that what they're called? Street lights, street lamps, whatever. Um, yeah, so I have to add those as well. Also, if my voice sounds kind of weird, I'm like a little bit sick right now. But um, I've been sick in previous videos and looking back, back at those voiceovers is the funniest stuff, I think. Um, yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, I hope it's not too distracting. But yeah. So for this house, I also went for a kind of Scandinavian look, which is like 90% of my houses. But anyways, <laughs> we're just going to ignore that. Also, the... Um, the what is it called layout basically of the house is a little weird especially in the upstairs area um in the upstairs area there's like the bathroom like the, the big bathroom with the top and a shower as well downstairs there's like a smaller bathroom with only a toilet and a sink which is attached to the master bedroom um yeah, and you also can only enter the master bedroom through the living room which isn't that odd, but it's kind of weird. But anyways, and also it's so dark. I don't know why I why I recorded this um, during, I don't know if it was dusk or dawn. I think it was dawn. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's really dark and that really sucks and I don't know why I did that. I mean, usually the lighting is like way better then, but it depends on whether a lot is located in the world. Um, yeah, so for the upstairs bathroom, I placed down this really, now looking at it, ugly, let's be honest, a tile. And I'm going to change that at some point. It's for you to decide if it's like prettier later on or if it's even more ugly. I don't know. I don't know what it is with like weird tiles and weird patterns at the moment. I'm just really trying to do something here, okay? <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. No, but yeah, mm -hmm. great. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot to say about this bathroom. It's just like, classic bathroom as i said the tiles are going to change at some point it has a bathtub and yeah i don't know why but i kind of established in my mind to put um fancier lamps above bathtubs it's it's either the stars like the stars with lights in it or, or like weird um lights light fixtures light fixtures oh my god i keep saying pictures <laughs> anyways <laughs> my mind is all over the place today um as I said, I'm a little bit sick and I'm always, I always get a little bit delirious when I'm sick. I don't know, I don't even have a fever. I'm, I'm not really that sick. I've been to on a little trip last week um, by myself, which was fun, but it was so exhausting because I went there on a Monday night. No, like on the night from Sunday to, um, Sunday to Monday. Did that make sense? I don't know. And <laughs> nobody, nobody was volunteering to drive me to the airport at like 3 a.m because I booked a flight at 6 a.m. because I didn't really look at the times when the flight was leaving because I just booked it, which was kind of stupid. I also booked it on my phone, which I feel like booking flights is such a mm, laptop activity. Like I need a bigger screen usually, but yeah, for some reason I booked it on my phone. It was very spontaneous. And yeah, so I drove myself to the airport, had to park my car, had to take a shuttle from the car park to the airport. <laughs> And uh, I was, I barely slept that night basically. And then I had to run through uh, London. I was visiting London the entire time with my um, luggage because I couldn't check in until like 
oh yeah, I arrived in London at like, I don't know, 8.30 or something in the morning. Then I had to run through the entirety of London with my luggage. It was so exhausting. I had like a backpack. It was so heavy. Doesn't matter. What was I about to say? Oh yeah, I think I got sick there because it was colder than I anticipated. Um, because the week before it was like really warm here where I live basically. It was like 20 or like 22 degrees uh, like Celsius, not Fahrenheit. That would be that would be weird. <laughs> it would not be warm, but um, yeah. So it was really warm here and then I arrived in London and it was really cold. And it was really cold here as well. So anyways, I got a little sick. What was the point of the story? doesn't matter. We are in the kid's room and I think it's so cute. I think the um, cherry wallpaper is so cute. Mm. It doesn't have a lot of space for toys uh, in the kids room, in the toddler room. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of space for toys, but I did remember to put in a potty chair in the bathroom. I didn't put in a high chair in the kitchen, but it's okay. A kid can eat from the ground, <laughs> doesn't matter, from the floor. Um, yeah, I did put in this horse, which is cute. I think toddlers can use it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and I also, oh my god, cutting this video. Like today is a complain uh, video for me. No, I'm not complaining. Like I said, the trip was fun. It's okay to be sick. It's not that bad. I'm really not feeling bad at all. Um, it's just to explain why my voice might sound a little weird. Um, what was I about to say? Mm, oh yeah, it was such a pain to, to edit this video. Because I had... Uh, I don't know why I kept leaving like the, the game. And the OBS was still running. So I had to cut out so much and like small details because i only did that for like a second to check something and then i went back into the game and oh anyways um yeah so that's the kids room upstairs downstairs is the master bedroom which i kept kind of simple in contrast to all the other rooms and all the other patterns it's kind of beige uh wooden tone yeah a beige wooden tone bedroom i also use this bed which i don't think i've used in a speedboat before i'm not entirely sure but i don't think i have um yeah it's plain, simple, but does the job. And at this point, I'm like kind of okay with not being too perfectionistic about this. Because also, in addition to my illness, I wouldn't call it illness, no, but in addition to me being a little bit, having like the tiniest cold, like I said, I'm not complaining, um, uh, it's not that bad. But I also had severe anxiety again this weekend. I've talked about this before. Um, like the the video is going up in like a month so it doesn't matter at that point anyways but I don't know does anybody feel so weird about posting on their own like feed on Instagram I get so nervous and it doesn't even matter like I don't care about the likes I don't care who likes it and stuff I don't even check that for real but I don't know I just feel so weird I feel like I'm being annoying <laughs> whenever I post there because I don't know I mean, nobody's forcing anybody to follow me, but every time I post, I feel like, oh my god, the people are being so annoyed with me. But anyways, um, what was the point of this? Oh yeah, that gave me a lot of anxiety, but yesterday I watched Whisper, Whisper of the Heart, Whisper to the Heart. I don't know, I think it's Whisper of the Heart. And that really changed my perspective, but in a good way. Like in a way that I feel okay with being not perfect at something, <laughs> which is so weird. I, I should have, I should always feel okay with that because obviously... This is like a learning process and I can redo stuff and yeah, it's so fun to make these videos and share them. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but I'm way too much of a perfectionist usually to do anything. So, well, to, well, no, that's not true, but like to, I don't know, to share a lot of stuff because I'm not like happy with it because it's not as perfect as I think it could be. And yeah, it's okay to, to be in a learning process and not do everything perfect at once. So yeah, that was my little rant about me being anxious again, great. Um, yeah, so this kitchen is, it's like a tiny kitchen like compared to the kitchens I usually do, um, but it was fun. Yeah, it's also kind of a little bit more, I wouldn't say plain, but well, maybe plain is the correct word though. More simple, it doesn't have those fancy patterns that I used in a lot of my kitchens uh, in the last few builds. Yeah, but it's the kitchen done. I think I included everything you need. And the living room is also kind of simple. It just has some seating and some, like some relaxed seating, like a sofa. And also some seating to eat, but all outside there is going to be like a bigger table. Um, the patio, on the patio. Well, there isn't really a patio, it's more like a terrace. I don't know if there's like a difference about that in English, I don't know. But yeah, so there is going to be more seating available outside. I also yeah, put in some radiators, some curtains, 
obviously you can see that i don't need to describe everything i'm doing um yeah i think this house is really cute it is kind of basic i have to be honest like a few of my builds have been kind of basic but sometimes i just want to like build to get my mind off things so um yeah it's okay then this one is kind of basic i think it still looks cute so and it, it feels really fills this gap which was in between like the two lots to the left and to the right of this pretty well i think and yeah i mean it does make the <laughs> Like I said, the house with the pointy roof even look even more pointy, but it's okay. And also, I think, which I don't know if I've explained this before, but I often add to like houses with gardens, I add the, um, what is it called? Like floor paint um, <laughs> of, uh, what is it called? Like mowed lawn, basically, um, to the ground, just so that it looks a little bit more, I don't know, um, more clean in a way. And oh my god, I was having such big issues with the floor paint of the um, of the asphalt basically in the front. I don't know why. Even if I clicked on the uh, on the the square tool, it kept changing to the round tool. It was it was so annoying. But anyways, <laughs> I I always say but anyways, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, in the garden, like I said, I put like a bigger table with a lot more seating. I know these um, what are these called in English? these benches well um aren't really uh usable for like eating at the table at least i don't think they are but there's like a lot of seating as well with these chairs and yeah so it's definitely usable yeah but i thought these benches look kind of good and i did that in the previous build as well i think yeah then for the outside i just placed down a different um letter box oh my god what is up with my vocabulary today I also feel like you're saying that in every video, but mm. uh, yeah. And for decor outside, I don't know if I'm doing that right now. Oh no, I'm going in the inside first. Again, not very creative, but I placed down a chest table again. I don't know why. I feel like every house should have one. I don't know. I can't even play chess. <laughs> well, not very well, at least. I know like the basic rules, but yeah. And I didn't really know what to do with this corner. So yeah, houses should have either some sort of just table <laughs> no some sort of creative outlet or oh i mean the other one's creative as well they need to have either a source of music or of other creativity is what i'm trying to say um yeah on the little balcony there's just like some uh, like a lounge chair and a another seating area and there are also like two lounge chairs in the garden as well and yeah oh yeah i placed down these white flowers for some reason and also poppies i didn't realize i have poppies in this game i think they look so cute are they called poppies in English? Yeah, I think they are. At least in like <laughs> in a song of ice and fire, they always it always says like milk of the poppy. So yeah, great. Um, yeah, then I also placed down these lights and some parking, and that is this people almost done. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.